In this video, we'll not only look at Skahoy controllers, which we usually do, we'll also take a look at a Panasonic PDC controller. And this is the well-known RP150. So the reason for me to show this today is because many of you probably have it in installation around the world, and it's possible to augment it, to enhance its capabilities using Skahoy controllers. And that would be the Frameshot Uno or the Frameshot Pro. These have color displays and we can use those to give you visual preset recall. That means when you store presets, we snap a thumbnail out of the camera, save it. And when you recall that preset, you have a nice display with color indication of the framing that you can expect to have when you recall the preset. And that's something the RP150 don't have. We have integrated that and let me show you how that works. So first we have two cameras today, a um, AE70 camera. This is the one, it's camera three. I have selected it so you can see I can uh, pan around with the joystick. If I change over to camera number four, it is the UE150 camera here and I can also frame that. Uh, however I want. These cameras are currently in our showroom, a little bit away from my office here. But the cool thing is, and now notice the frame shot Uno in the bottom of this picture. As I am changing between these, you see that that apparently responds to it. So basically, the frame shot Uno is listening to which camera and group on the RP150 is currently selected. And then accordingly, it will show you thumbnails for those cameras. Let's try this out in real life. We are currently selected on the UE150 camera. Before we do this, I need to go to this screen so you can see the camera here. If you look at these thumbnails, they represent framings. So if I press this button, I'll recall a preset that will give me a framing with just close up on these eyes more or less. If I press this button over here, I should expect to get into a framing that shows the overall room. This is our showroom. It's a little bit messy, I admit. We have a lot of cool things standing around here, like we have a little bit of an Ari party here. You know, some pretty cool Ari cameras and Skahoy controllers. Uh, let's store a preset for that. So if I press and hold this button, you can see that it will now grab this thumbnail and put it into the display. So as I said, we have these nice visual preset indicators. That means you don't need to keep small to-do list with uh, scribbles. You don't need a scribble st a strip. You don't basically need anything than your eyes to determine what you get. Super useful for basic operators, even experienced operators will enjoy this. And notice how this Frameshot Uno is really enhancing the RP150 with this functionality. So the way this works is that the Frameshot Uno connects to the RP150. It listens to which camera and which group is currently selected, and then it will show accordingly the correct thumbnails to the camera. Actually, it is also connected in parallel to the camera. So the RP150 is connected to the cameras and also the Frameshot Uno is connected to the camera. It's just that the Frameshot Uno is also connected to the RP150 so it can listen for the currently selected camera and that allows us to change forth and back. Now you see for the UE150, we already get those thumbnails out of the camera. In fact, it is just taking the thumbnails from over here where we have them already stored in the camera. With the UE70, we are cheating a little bit. And actually you can achieve this with any uh, camera, even if they don't have thumbnails inside, we can also get it in, in different ways using a frame grabber utility, but that's for a different day because with the Panasonic cameras, you can actually get these thumbnails from the cameras in all known cases. So if we go to camera three, you see there are currently no uh, thumbnails stored here, but let's just save this preset. So I press and hold to save this preset. And now we grab that thumbnail out of the camera. Again, we can just move the joystick around so we get a different framing. We press and hold and we have the second framing stored as a thumbnail here in the display. Over in this end of the controller, you can see I'm paging to a second page of presets. So we can go all the way up to 100, no, not 128, but 28 presets on this single panel. Really, really powerful. I wanna show you what lies behind the software of the Frameshot Uno. This is how it looks. This is how simple it is. Reactor is the software that runs on the panel. It's not installed on a computer. The panel itself has this running on it. So you don't need a laptop to do any of this except to manage the interface you're seeing right now. You need a laptop on iPad or an iPhone even if you want. So basically the Frameshot Uno panel is here and it is set up with a special configuration that we have made to connect to the RP150 controller. And inside the camera mapping, we have two entries that basically relates the 
camera and group number on the RP150 to the cameras that we have also set up for the Frameshot Uno. As I said, the Frameshot Uno connects to three things. It currently connects to my two cameras and it connects to the RP150. And you see that over here in the devices section of the screen. So it says uh, RP150, it is on this IP address and it's connected. Down here, we have installed two devices by simply clicking add device and you can add devices manually. Actually, if we search Panasonic, you can see that both the uh, cameras will be here, but also the controller. So this is how you add devices inside Reactor, super easy. Uh, in, in these cases, you need to know the IP address, so you can type that in. And But as soon as you do that, it will connect. And now these two devices, the UE100, uh, UE70 and also the UE150, they are device number one and device number two. This one up here is called device number one in the device core for the Panasonic RP that is remote um, panel, remote panel, uh, probably um, series of, of products from Panasonic. Now, the, the mapping, we need to have the mapping in place because basically what this is, is a mapping table and it says camera number three from group number one on the RP150. You see, we are in group number one here, which you can select down here. So if we go to group number two instead, like I just did, I cannot expect to, let me see. If I, yeah, okay. So camera number three is still one of these. It appears that it is uh, all set up. No, it's not connected to anything. But anyway, I'm in group number two right now, and that won't work because the, the cameras are set up in group number one. But if I go back to group number one here, it is camera number three and four, which are my cameras. So camera number three, this one right here, in group number one is the UE70 camera, and that is device number one. That is this little um, one right here. See, camera number four in group number one is the UE150, and that is device number two. So if you have more cameras, what you need to do, more cameras set up in your RP150, you just create a new line here, and then you could basically say, well, camera number five from group number two would be my UE60, and that would be device number, it's probably gonna be number three, but let's just, now we haven't added it. Oh, it's called something else. But anyway, let's just put that in. That would be device number three, sequentially numbered. And maybe if we wanna do that, we can copy this one out and uh, just paste it in here so that we have the correct number. So, and this is how you would then expand the, the table here. Now, obviously this camera is not connected, so it won't show up as connected, but this is how you would set up all the cameras that is also set up on the RP150 to make sure that the um, Frameshot Uno is responding correctly to this. I told you there's another product called Frameshot Pro, and that is popular with our PC controllers um, the PVC Extreme, the PVC Pro, for instance. So let me show you what are PVC Extreme and PVC Pro because many people really love these PVC controllers from us. And this is one of them. Let me show you in, in uh, full screen. Really beautiful controller. And the sidekick to this one is the Frameshot Pro that also has these color displays. So let's search for that. And I will type in Frameshot Pro. And there we go. So you can now you can basically imagine that this controller would have these visual presets on 10 buttons down here and then also paging for the different pages. So this one would go super well next to the Frameshot, uh, sorry, PDC Extreme or PDC Pro. And the main message to you is you need to pick Frameshot Pro or Frameshot Uno based on the form factor that you prefer. You can see that Frameshot Pro is this kind of desktop controller. It could fit next to your RP150, but it might also be that you prefer the rack unit. This is why I brought the rack unit today, and that is the Frameshot Uno. Let's just search this one up, the one that we have been working with uh, here, Frameshot Uno. By the way, this website, darkroomskyhoy.com, is where you find nice pictures of all our controllers. You can really you know, explore the different form factors, but this is the Frameshot Uno controller. So if you need a rack version, then here you have it. But what I want to show you now is how the Frameshot um, Frameshot Pro would normally work, and uh, we could probably set up PDC Extreme real quick here. Uh, I know we won't have it connected, but I can still show you in principle how this would work. So if I had a PDC Extreme, you see I can select 
yeah, let's have a PTC Extreme with a Frameshot Pro. And then I'm currently missing that panel, but I could then add in the Frameshot Pro here. So let's just uh, pick that one. And you see in this way, we would have a PTC uh, Extreme and Frameshot Pro combined together. They uh, will appear in our simulator. So this is how it would look inside of here. By the way, the simulator is basically a reflection of the panel that we have connected. So you can see now I'm changing over to the um, uh, UE150 camera. So you see that in, in the web UI, we can actually see what is actually on the panel. So that is a remote control, a way to remote control our panels, basically, if, if you need that over a an IP address in a web browser. Anyway, my, my point is from, from this screen, um, the Frameshop Pro is really popular with our PTC controllers because they fit so well together. But it's also possible to basically run this solo. So let's just remove this out and say, okay, Frameshot Pro, let's say we added that controller on its own. We would be able to pick this Frameshot Pro as Panasonic RP150 Sidekick with something called Quick Class. Now, inside of this one, we have basically the same as you can see for the Frameshot Uno. That is a little camera mapping table. So we would set up camera three in group number one is uh, first camera and it, that is device number one. We'll just create a new one here. And then number four in group number one, second camera, and that is device number two. So let's say this is what we want to do here. Then And then we have something called a quick class. Let me just quickly uh, add something to that. Uh, that could be like an atom switcher where you want to be able to control a few things uh, for an atom switcher. So uh, let me see, discover devices. I think I have uh, my mini ATEM mini here. So it's just adding that. And inside this quick class configuration, you see we have some audio input control for the uh, ATEM. So let's check this out real quick in the simulator. This is the Frameshot Pro. And you see now I am changing cameras. And you can see this is ultra responding, just like the Frameshot Uno. Actually, I think we can have both of them on the screen at the same time, more or less. So uh, from this top view, you can see as I'm changing cameras on the RP150, they respond synchronously to these two things. Now, the Frameshot Pro is only in a vis uh, virtual version here, but it shows you that we have the same thing going. We have the uh, paging between the, the, the thumbnails. Uh, it is listening as I'm changing cameras on the RP150. And that is all the same that we saw up on the um, Frameshot Uno. The thing is that on the Frameshot Pro, you just have a different form factor and you also have additional seven buttons that are being utilized as what we call quick classes. So this is where you can put in extra functionality. In this case, I just took a, a connection to an ATEM switch real quick, slapped it on here so that you have stuff like um, Kia management buttons, uh, auto and cut, etc. And there are many, many options you can choose from for this quick class. So that's like a bonus on top of it that you can have that. But really, the, we have so many quick class configurations for uh, video routers, for vMix, for TriCaster, for uh, OBS, um, and, and different versions of the uh, ATEM quick classes that you can apply. So that is the overview of what I had for you today. RP150 popular PTC controller for Panasonic cameras. It doesn't mean you need to miss out on Skyhoy equipment because we can augment that controller, enhance it with visual preset recalls using Frameshot series like Frameshot Uno or Frameshot Pro.